Hello, my name is Joe Suffender, and this is my first speech for Argumentation and Debate. I'm going to be doing it on California Assembly Bill 711, which is the alleged ban of ammunition for hunting purposes. Uh, this is a spin off of one passed in 2007, AB. 821, which was a ban of lead ammunition for hunting in the so-called condor zone of central and northern California under the guise of keeping keeping lead ammunition out of the areas where the California condor was eating uh, the gut piles of downed game animals. They were saying that a lot of the, the condors were passing away to lead poisoning. Um, since 2007, the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife for California has claimed that they suspect there's at least a 99% compliance rate with hunters in this area, and the rate of the condor passing away, or the death mortality rate of the condor is unchanged or getting worse, uh, despite the, the hunters using the required ammunition. Uh, there's also further studies to show that this is not a harmful source of, uh, or not a, a, a source of lead poisoning in either the hunters consuming the meat or the animals themselves. A study out of the, uh, published in the European Food Research and Technology by uh, Haldman, Baumgartner, and Zimlin. Uh, entitled The Intake of Risk from Game Meat, a Risk to Consumers' Health, uh, found that hunters who regularly consumed uh, meat from a game harvest with lead ammunition did not notice any significant increase of a blood alcohol or a blood lead level um, than that of the control group who did not consume meat that way. And the, the blood lead level would be the way that they can test, um, an accurate means of testing to see if there is the lead is accumulating in the system. Um, there's further tests out here. Um, Hogmeen, Hollum Green, as it was, lead in game meat bioaccessibility of metallic lead fragments. Researchers calculate that half of 1% of metallic lead uh, is from, is converted from bioavailable form of lead in the industrial tract well below any level of concern. Uh, we got another one here. The World Symposium on Lead Ammunition did a, it's about a 300 page uh, research. And it was in 2004 in Italy. And they find that there's a lack of evidence to recommend any restrictions on the use of lead ammunition in any environment for hunting or otherwise. Now, many of the common places where lead is being found in the environment are from lead paint, lead gasoline. These are less common than they used to be. The pesticides, uh, trash, batteries, um, you know, solar panels, construction waste. Those are common things as well. Uh, and the thing with those is even though lead paint, lead gasoline are less common, they're not in a metallic form. And... They're more readily absorbable in the industrial or the digestive tract than is um, fragments from metallic lead ammunition um, because of just the, the, the composition of it. Um, I don't have the name of the study right in front of me, but they were testing lead shot on birds and they were. Um, they found that no matter how much they consumed, it really wasn't affecting their lead, their blood lead levels, despite what previous research had gained. 
But uh, the gist of what I'm getting at is I don't believe that this recently passed California legislature is in the good faith of trying to either save the California condor, which is an endangered bird um, and should be saved, or is trying to keep hunters safe um, from lead uh, poisoning potentials from game shot with leaded ammunition. It's more likely that they are using it as a means to restrict the amount of people who will be uh, taken to the field in the state because it's very expensive to be using this stuff. Well, thank you for your time.